<clears throat> What's up, everybody? Decisive TV here. We're back for another video on our Let's Play world. Today, uh, we're going to do uh, a small bit of a task. Uh, as you guys can tell by the thumbnail, I'm sure uh, we are going to be doing something very, very cool. But the first thing we got to do in this episode is we got to we got to Shazam. You know, you know what I'm saying? We got to Shazam to some jams. That's not what I Okay, jukebox. And then we can. Yeah. Uh, well, we need to make that because I want to uh, use this later for the build that we're doing today. Um, also, uh, somebody uh, should take that off and do it properly. Uh, so somebody went to the Patreon last episode and they subscribed. Uh, let me check and make sure it's still only that person, right? I believe it's updating. Come on. Why are you not updating quicker? Okay, there we go. Uh, so let's, let's see. Uh, so their name is Rogue Outcast. That's how you spell it? Yes. Okay, good. So I think we're going to do the name, the amount. So they're a $5 supporter. Question mark or exclamation mark. Supporter. Uh, and then the date, so 11-30-23, and then they have been subscribed for one month. Yay! Thank you, Rogue Outcast, so much. Um, oh, wait, actually, no, we need that, right? Uh, so, obviously, that will be about how it is, so you'll have a nice little twee. Uh, the higher that you go on the supporter tiers, uh, the more that you um, go, do on Patreon, the, the bigger the tree you get. So I think the next one's $10, and uh, I'm thinking we do a tree like that if I possibly can. You know what? I might just like build it manually, try and recreate it or something like that because, um, you know, you guys are special. So, yeah, I think... Um, and then a $3 supporter will have a tree just as big as the $5 supporter um, because if I made it one lower, it would kind of get in the way a little bit. So I kind of want to have the trees about like this if possible um, and obviously go bigger if we need to. So I also went and I got some spruce wood because I planned on building out the house today. But as I was getting prepared for the episode, I realized, holy shit, that is going to take a while. And I do not have the time today to do that. Um, maybe next episode I will because I'll, I'll be making that over the weekend. So I won't have work or anything the next day, which uh, I'll have time. I promise I, I'm going to get it done. As you guys could tell, I kind of leveled it up. I upgraded it a little bit. So it's a little bit higher. I also wasn't really happy with the where it was going. Shoot. We might change it again. I'm not sure. It just looks like a bunch of squares and stuff. So... Uh, but I have decided on what blocks I want to use. Um, uh, I'm going to use mud blocks uh, as we have a stack and a half right here. It's definitely not going to be enough, but we're going to use we're going to do packed mud. So is it only one one per right? Yeah, one one mud equals one packed mud with hay. So we're going to use packed mud because it, it has that nice brown tinge to it, which I think is really, really cool. So, yeah, but thank you so much again, Rogue Outcast, for the, the $5 support. Um, I appreciate it. It means a lot. I, I, I honestly did not think we were going to get one uh, or anybody, uh, and I was going to look like a noob uh, with this. But, you know, as our community grows, so will the trees, hopefully. But... Uh, so this episode, I wanted to kind of, um, I, I want to go back down into the stronghold. Hi, and hello. I want to go back down to the stronghold, and I want to start building down there a little bit. So I have a, a cool, but like before we go into the uh, the end, I guess. Okay, buddy. Hello. Hi. You're done. You're dead. Why didn't you just climb out that way? Okay. Uh, but I do have a, a kind of a plan for the portal room that I want to do, uh, which you guys can definitely tell by the thumbnail of the episode. I'm pretty sure, probably. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna basically make it a whole black room. It's gonna be 
sick. It's going to look really, really cool. Uh, but we just need a, to get the ink sacks. We need to do all that and that sort of stuff. So it's going to gonna take a little bit to do, but I think it'll be very much worth it. Um, and it's a lot simpler. I don't have to plan it out as much. Uh, and eventually, if we get withers and I make it like a wither farm or something like that, or you know what, I just like farm withers down at the bottom of the world. Uh, and I get frozen in time. He, that boy was stuck in time. Uh, and we get a bunch of nether stars and we don't want to use it for beacons or something like that for whatever reason. Uh, then maybe I'll put it down there and give it like a, a cool space effect or something like that. But first things first, we got to get gravel and sand to make the concrete. And we also have to get the, uh, uh, the ink sacks. Also, why is everything stuck in time? That was weird. Um, so I guess I'm going to go do that. I don't really know exactly where a desert is in our world, at least close to here. So I think I'm going to have fun finding that, but I'll be right back with you guys, uh, whenever I get all those resources. Okay. It's nighttime. I got a whole bunch of sand and I got to run because there's skeletons everywhere and they probably don't want me here in the world anymore. They want me to lose all my sand and all my progress. Uh, luckily we didn't actually have to go that far. So here's the Savannah biome, uh, that kind of like wraps around, uh, towards the, the village closest to our base. And so, yeah, we didn't have to go far at all, which was very, very nice. Oh my God. There's a pillager outpost. Oh yeah. This is the, um, the, uh, the river that we took. Uh, okay. Let's make it, let's go back. Got to focus on making it back first. Um, but yeah, this is the, the river that we initially swam through on a boat in the first episode before we stumbled across where we live now, uh, which little did we know that would lead to a stronghold right underneath our base <laughs> through a, a whole cave system. And it wasn't even that deep. So awesome. And there was a mine shaft through it too. And there's a mob spawner in it as well which is kind of crazy. I mean, there's also a cave spider spawner, which we could utilize for string and stuff, which is cool. Um, but man, yeah, this world is just insane. I love this world so much. I really hope the people who want the seed, I hope they're playing on the world as well, and they're just finding all sorts of cool stuff. That would be absolutely phenomenal to... Uh... Oh, actually... I kind of like that. Look at that. Uh, well, you know what? Let's go to sleep first. Or wait, wait, wait. Uh, the thing that I'm saying that's cool needs to be at night. Uh, let's do that. That looks pretty cool. I kind of like how the uh, the torch is like hidden behind it whenever you're walking this way. Maybe... Mm, I wish we could put like hidden lighting in the ground below it. Well... I guess we could put like glowstone or a jack-o'-lantern or something back here. Cover along the edges with leaves or something like that would be pretty dope. Uh, okay, let's let's go to sleep. We gotta sleep. I still need to get the gravel, but should be a okay for the most part. We have a shit ton of sand, so yeah, this should be enough. Oh my God, <sighs> scared me for a second. I thought I looked at an enderman. He is somewhere around here. Enderman, where are you? Hello. Uh, okay, well, moving on. Let's, we gotta go get the gravel. Uh, and so for that, I should probably find a, uh, um, the, the mountain biome with a, a ton of gravel on it. Because I don't have a respiration helmet, so I can't really go to the bottom of the ocean and absolutely decimate it. You know, ruining all the fish's habitats and everything. Sorry, fish. Uh, yeah, there's a, a ton of gravel down there, as you can you can see. Okay, now you can't. But you, you know what I mean. So we got to go find uh, one of those mountain biomes with all the gravel on it. And, and we should be okay. So I'm going to go ahead and go find one. And I'll be back with you guys in a second. Off to another adventure. Oh, the boat's over here. Oh man, gotta repair the shovel. It's almost repaired, I think. 
My F3 key still doesn't work, which kind of stinks. I think, yeah, it doesn't work. Oh man, this thing is so slow. I can't wait to go to the end and make a uh, an Enderman farm, and then we'll be able to get it super quick. But yeah, I am back, and I ended up getting. Um, oh, my mouse just died. Awesome. Oh, did I actually like fully die? Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, we do got the wireless mouse plugged in. Bluetooth mice are good until they die. Okay. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, so I did... Oh, there we go. Perfect. Um, I did end up uh, getting 10 stacks of gravel, which is a lot more than I thought I was going to do. Let's see. Come on. There we go. Swim. Uh, which is a lot more than I thought I was going to get, but I, th I just was thinking, well, I got like 10 stacks of sand might as well get 10 stacks of gravel so uh we should be a-okay to make the conqueror wait i still need ink sacks well, at least we have glow ink oh you know you guys know what i just did oh man okay rogue outcast i gotta i gotta like email you or something and figure out what your favorite color is because we could we could do like the glowing sack with like people's favorite color that would be dope i need to make like a prompt or something or i need to figure that out how you guys can like leave messages or something like that um so i need to find ink sacks which obviously the squiddies spawn in rivers but does this count as a river or does it count as an ocean let's see where's my uh biome forest river okay it does count as a river why is there no squid oh there they are okay well i guess i gotta get uh quite a bit of ink sacks and i don't have looting three do i no i don't oh my god this is gonna take a while especially since i also don't have respiration and squid are very very annoying to get to whenever you don't have depth shredder as well oh my god Okay, well, I guess I'll be right back. This is going to take for freaking ever, but at least I can get... I'll be back with, like, maybe a stack of ink sacks, and I think that will probably be enough. Wait. We can make... I only need, like, two stacks. Two and a half stacks of ink sacks to make all ten stacks of concrete, but at the same time, I kind of don't want to get two and a half stacks. So maybe maybe eight stacks of concrete will be enough for the portal room. Where are you? There you are. Okay, yeah, I'll just be right back with you guys whenever I get that. All right, we're back. And I ended up making the uh, the black concrete powder. And then I also turned it into black concrete because that is no fun to watch. And I didn't want to have to cut again for you guys. Oh, I thought that was going to give me a little piece of XP. Well, that can go in there, I guess. Um, is there anything that I can cook to give me XP, please? Please! Okay, I don't think so. Unfortunate. Well, uh, because it's like right there. It, it It's literally right there. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, so we can go ahead and start on the build. Uh, we do need to go down to the stronghold, which... We actually, we access through this cave. So, yeah. Okay, I can go, yeah, that's right. I can go down through here. I think I go through here. It's been a little, little bit since we've been down here. So, I don't exactly remember the way, but we will find it. Um, I think I go, no. Where do I go? Through here? Oh, yes. Okay. Uh, so it is, yeah, it's just right up. Holy shit, man. You fell waves. Goodbye. Oh, goodbye. Uh, okay. Let's go over here. Uh, I also have torches so we can light up the, the rest of this cave a little bit more. Um, but yeah, so let's. Go down. We got to find the portal room again. I don't exactly remember where it's at. Okay. Ow. 
Holy cow, that skeleton hit me for two and a half hearts. Uh, okay, I guess we can just cut through Mia. Because this cuts into the stronghold anyway, so. Let's go ahead, run through here. Do that. Uh, let's find this portal room. Hopefully I can find it pretty quick. I don't want to be running around for too long. Oh, here's the, the spawner. So I think it's back this way. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, okay, so first things first, we got to clear this out and hopefully no silverfish spawn. But, you know, there's always going to be that one silverfish that decides to spawn. Um, so we just got to clear all this out, all the stone brick, uh, so then we can go ahead and lay out the, uh, the black concrete. Oh, hello. I knew you were going to spawn. Little bastard. Okay. And I can't really tell because this pick is pretty quick. So I don't know which which blocks are oh my god. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, buddy. Uh so I don't know which ones are bad and which ones are good. Mm. Well, I'll get back with you guys whenever I again. <laughs> Sorry for all the cuts this episode, but I'll be get back. Oh my god. Well, I yeah, I'll just I'll get back with you guys whenever I get this sorted out. Holy shit. Okay, so uh, I ended up mining out the room a bit and I dropped the floor by one block and I expanded the room out by uh, two, I think. And I also expanded the ceiling a little bit. Um, looks like I still need to expand it one more. Uh, oops, my bad. Uh, but let's go ahead and place down some of this black concrete. I'm hoping that uh, we'll be able to light this up with like torches or whatever, and it will still look fine. Um, uh, we're going to have to have a temporary solution to getting up to the portal. But for right now, uh, it should be okay. Um, maybe, maybe I should have brought the, um, oh, actually, no, I have an idea. I need to go back up to the surface, but maybe I should bring the Eyes of Ender, uh, down to light the portal, because I think it gives off light, right? Whenever it's, uh, activated, possibly. Okay, so I am back and I just put in all of the black concrete and I'm experimenting with uh, the soul fire. So I think that looks pretty freaking cool. Um, let's see, three, three, okay, good, it's even. So we can just go up here, right? That's where it's at, yeah, okay. And then we'll knock out this one, knock out these blocks, and then put black concrete all the way around except for the bottom. Put in soul soil, and then there we go. So, oh, it kind of looks like a face. Look at it. Mm. Little face, you know. Uh, so we can go ahead and get rid of these torches and... That looks pretty freaking menacing. It just, it looks so dark. And like on my screen, I can't even see those edges right there. Like there's, there, I know there's an edge here just because that's where the room is. Like if I get up close or if I even take away the torch, it's just dark. It's just completely black. Holy cow. That looks crazy. <laughs> oh man, it looks so good. Uh, okay, so I do need to put in some torches uh, because I don't want stuff to spawn in here. That would kind of suck to come down and there's just a creeper sitting here waiting to blow up my black concrete. Um, yeah, so uh, I actually had to make quite a bit more black concrete because um, we didn't have enough 
and that was another pain and now it's super late and now i'm getting really tired so i gotta wrap up this episode but thank you all so much for watching if you did enjoy remember to hit that like button down below next episode we're gonna work on the starter or what what should have been the starter house but now it's episode 16 and next episode is 17 so it's not even really a starter house anymore uh it's gonna be our mega base i guess <laughs> i don't know subscribe if you all are new here and next episode we are going to work on the starter house or what should have been the starter house but the shit shack is kind of like our starter house now um but yeah anyways that's gonna be it thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next episode have a good day bye bye